Um, so that's always nice. It is going to start with the Pyramithra. So what do we... Okay. So starting with the Pyramithra here again. Um, I guess game one, you know, field out. I mean, it was doing really well in their last set, game one. It was just, you know, getting off stage and having the unfortunate turn up gimps on a character with exploitable recovery is tough. Also, this is on Battlefield. Huh, okay. I guess, you know, the platforms are going to help DM extend his combos, but I feel like this also just gives Nuggets the space he needs to work with to not have to worry about, you know, as many explosive early kills like he was finding in game one last time. So we'll see how we're doing. You know, just trading back and forth right now. Nuggets is going to want to look to get away here to possibly fuck a turn up because he feel a lot safer. Not quite getting... I'm not sure what he was looking for there, but that was an opportunity that Nuggets did not take. <laughs> a B hitbox really saving Nuggets there. Um, Blazing is doing a great job of saying, Nuggets, you are not allowed to actually hurt me off stage right now. You either shield or take most of your HP. Ooh, calling out another empty jump with an up smash from the Fire One. Very good to secure the first stock here. And so now, we'll reset to neutral. Uh, Aegis back on ledge. Not going to be there long, because Nuggets wasn't really in position to do too, too much there. Uh, but just, you know, trying to buy for stage control here. It's going to be pretty important for Nuggets more so than DM, because he needs time to plug a turn up. He needs time to, uh, you know, figure out how DM is going to approach him. Looking for a uh, punish on me. Was there, but couldn't quite get it. Hmm. Okay, so, you know, DM really building a lead here. Uh, still up a stock. Um, almost about the lap nuggets in percent, so it's, um, the up air is going to take it that time. The last time it did not look like that, so nuggets is in a deficit here, in an issue, and I think this is exactly what DM wanted to happen the first time they played today, uh, but it didn't quite it didn't quite pan out that way, so looking much cleaner here in the execution, and you know, looking set to take this with exactly what happened in the first game last time. One turn and upstage, and you are pretty, pretty set. Nuggets in the classic fashion, pulling a special turn up, but not getting much off of it this time. Gonna, ooh, didn't turn around there for the grab as DM was behind him, but now Hyra much more uh, potent kill pressure, now just being at a higher percent and being Daisy, will uh, we'll probably fall to a move soon, but DM back to Mithra to get some more percent on there and use the speed to his advantage here. Really um, stress nuggets there, stress out. And I believe that was down there, is going to take game one. So DM's Pyro Mithra looking a lot more clean here, uh, not giving Nuggets the opportunity to get him off stage to use those turnips to secure those stocks in a better fashion and really just using the quickness of Mithra and the power of Pyra to overwhelm each. So, game two, we're going to look to the music, obviously, and I thought we were going to see Galeen, but, um, Fire Emblem song? Fodlin wins. Yep. So. Oh, small battlefield this time. Okay. So Nugget's electing to say, okay, I'm gonna, you know, use the smaller stage to try to win the advantages I can and really, um, you know, I'm not used to playing on small battlefield yet. As I said, I'm just kind of coming back to the scene now. So tough to, uh, tough to assess when I haven't really played on it much myself personally. But that's what's great. We're all learning here. So, starting out, again, just a lot of trading back and forth. I'm getting a nice little string there, getting Nuggets up. Nuggets now in the air, not where you want to be below your, uh, above your opponent on Peach, but managing to get back in the ground without much, much to call for it. I'm throwing out the sword, not quite going to do much. Uh, Nuggets trying to exploit that, but Mithra able, or Pyra able to uh, quickly get out of that situation. As a turn up, does not land it on there. That would have definitely been the sock if that landed, though, because 
These characters recovery, not quite uh, not quite what you want. Great foresight there, but doesn't quite get the F smash after it. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll just reset neutral and then you know take some take some damage for his time there. He um you know doesn't have control of center stage right now. But <laughs> run back F smash will get nuggets right off of him and tie up our percents here. Ooh, not quite spacing around. Didn't get the snapshot the ledge, so will get blown up by the the up B from Pyra. That turnip does hit, that turnip also hits. In free fall, doesn't get a punish. I think he was looking for dash attack there, but uh unfortunately ran off the stage and got fair instead. So a little bit of an execution fault there from Nuggets, but uh, now has DM back in the corner where he will secure the stock for DM jumping off ledge with fair. So, game two looking a little bit closer, but that's that's a big thing that um, DM was doing in game one. That I, the first time I've seen it now, or the third time, is uh, being able to foresight in between hits of uh, Paisy, Bear, or Dare, rather, is uh, really important in this matchup, which I didn't know you could do until today, so that's going to be a big factor in this matchup that, you know, is really going to hinder a lot of Nuggets' combo routes, because Dare is going to be so important. So Nuggets here, without a jump, and he'll just get blown up by the F smash, because Peach's recovery is rather linear once you have to go low. Uh, looking for big damage here on the combo, not going to be able to finish it off with the fair like he wants, but in a really good position here, because DM uses side B aggressively on the stage. Not quite going to get the punish on the ledge grab with Dare, but... Now in the air, but he's luckily Pyra instead. Gonna point him off. Great spacing from DM to dodge his turnip, but unfortunately for your troubles, you get a fair punch. So again, much more, much more even in this game. However, you know there are just definitely some matchup things that Nuggets has to adapt to. That it's tough because you know when Foresight can stop one of your combo routes, it's rather tough to really get through there. Blazing Edge going to hit there, not quite going to steal there, but just a huge, huge damage uh, interaction for DM here. Just getting so much off of a few interactions. Nuggets has to just, ooh, good DI on that on the cross up, knowing to pull the other way. Great weight there, but going to move, rolling in there, up tilt will take game two with DM. Uh, Nuggets luckily has time, uh, having the winner's bracket advantage. If he loses this set, he'll have another whole five games potentially to potentially bounce back. Um, I, yeah, I can see a run back here pretty simply. Um, I think small battlefield worked out for Nuggets, uh, giving him the platforms when he needs to escape to, but also just keeping, keeping it close type deal. Once he has his turn up, he does want to get in there and try to knock them off stage. And when there's less stage to work with, you don't have to worry about knocking them off too much. So, game three. Same deal. I feel like every game has started out the same way. Nugget plus the turn up. Eats a little bit of percent from a strength from DM. And uh, we, then we really start. And there it is again. The foresight on down air. Nuggets is really going to have to adapt to that. Because that's just so many combo routes you miss out on as long as DM gets the timing. Which he now seems to be getting pretty consistently, so it's gonna be a tough adaptation. Great tech there. I'm not sure if he actually wanted to buffer a roll there and then got hit at the same time, but great tech situation there to not get blown up and but still first troubles, unfortunately gets blown up. So pretty pretty commanding first stock from DM. He will have to uh, just keep up this Really good pressure, you know, using using one character to rack up the defense and then just Mithra, or Pyra rather, is able to really, really secure stocks pretty well. So, definitely showing the power of Aegis, not good for the dot eye, not quite going to be able to get anything off of it. Getting the correct read there, I think, but not quite being able to punish it accordingly. And knocking him off stage, looking for the... Gonna not quite die from that, but rather close, probably. A little bit less. Oh, that's a stitch face. I don't think DM saw that stitch face. I think he thought it was just a normal turn up. Uh, but now, no rage on DM. Gonna make these early kills a little bit harder, but 
Once you racked up a little bit more percent, we'll be right back to where we were earlier. Still a pretty large uh, hill for Nuggets to climb. And, you know, I think at this point you look to adaptations you can make because you've had three games of, you know, similar situations happening where you're not in the greatest position and that down air is going to take the second stock. Such a, such a powerful move for, well, for some commitment, of course, but still just such a wide hitbox that just really difficult to knock the power of it. So I think from here you look for adaptations for the reason because, you know, unfortunately, when you're down here, it happens. But it's just, uh, you know, you gotta find an answer like you were looking at in the first set today. Taking his time to get off ledge, almost rolling into neutral B, but not quite gonna happen. Nice grab there. Good, good uh, explosive option there. You know, really, um, really sets the mood. Remind you, hey, don't put down your controller when I'm uh, in a tech chase situation. So, fortunately, missing the turn up there on the ledge too. Not quite securing the stock, and then not enough time on the turn up there. It's DM is doing much better at uh really mixing up his uh, recovery options with how limited they are to uh, make sure he doesn't get turn up gimped as much as he did in the first set today. So now Nugget's going to take the second stock. Having about 93% on him right now, he is, you know, proning, prone to die to a few moves at this point in the kit, but can still possibly, you know, just get one of those explosive peach combos on the way out, but without having your down tilt, or I'm sorry, down air as a combo starter can be very tough, but, you know, down tilt does just as good a job. Bouncing off the platform there and able to nair out of there actually to stop uh, Nuggets' continuation. Ooh, really good opportunity here with, you know, DM looking in the corner. Gotta keep up the pressure here to try to keep center stage. Unfortunately, gonna even up air. Can't quite keep the advantage state going. But resetting here, just kind of poking at uh, DM shield saying, you know, we're gonna stick around and then just believe that's back air taking the third game of the first res the first grand final set. Now we will reset into set two. So DM really convincing 3-0. You know, such a matchup dependent thing, you know, really looking much more clean in his uh, execution of the matchup. So Nuggets from here has to figure about how to get his combo trees going without you know, down air has to worry about the, you know, percentage he's taking from these characters to get to these early kills and just, you know, really movement's going to be a big thing. I think movement, so bigger stages, bigger areas to work with are going to be what Nuggets is going to want to look for here. And so starting out set two on Pokemon Stadium 2, I think this is a fine starter for them. It's, um... Unfortunate, but it is what it is. So, I think it's a little poked in the corner right now here, but getting back on there, getting gonna hit by the blazing edge. Luckily, uh, no real follow up. <laughs> and, ooh, just barely getting back. Turn up almost securing a nice early first stock for Nuggets, but not quite gonna find it. <sighs> so, characters just. Playing it out, Nuggets going for his turn of combos, punishing the landing of the end there, which was nice. Uh, forward smash, or up smash, rather. Okay. Not quite gonna take it just yet, but a couple more moves and will be much easier to do. Blazing Edge there, throwing out, giving him for no sword, but right back to the Nair for the first kill, going to DM. I believe Nuggets might have been expecting the Pikachu here, that's why the, and these games have been very fast paced, so maybe now with three games under the belt, he can kind of, and <laughs> Mr. Saturn comes out. Uh, not that we've seen a whole lot of shielding here, but still always gives you the threat. Uh, Nair not quite gonna take it yet, almost there. And what are we doing here? Nugget's gonna, yeah, calling out Blazing Edge there, which was good. 
with the back air to secure the first stock. Didn't really um, take a lot of presents like he has in previous games either, so that's good. Keeping it, you know, mostly even, not letting DM run away with these games. So just trying to, unfortunately, spot dodging the grab there, not quite having to confirm he thought he did. Uh, down tilt, not quite going to reach. I think dash attack would have been a little bit more guaranteed damage. And that is going to be... Yeah, it will definitely be. DM second stuff, not able to uh, recover from that, so we are now at a Nuggets advantage, which is looking a little bit more similar to set one, where, you know, Nuggets gets his opportunity and is able to exploit a stock out of these uh, Aegis characters, because their recoveries are, you know, a little limited. But Nuggets getting up to the 90-100 area, down air. Up air will secure a stock next time it lands, so just having to play around that, but luckily having these stock leads to essentially, you know, get what little room he can here. So, DM off stage again is just barely going to get back on stage. I think that was max height for these characters, so that's gonna, yep. That will catch him up. That's a big thing that happened in set one, or er, the first set they played today uh, in winter semis was, um, you know, Nuggets, when DM is off stage, hitting that pivotal turn up to really knock them off and just keep them off stage to re like, run them out of recovery options and just secure stocks. That's going to be a big theme throughout all these games. And with Nuggets taking game one of the reset, let's see what the adaptation is from the end. I think this is smart staying with the uh, Aegis characters. Um, you know, in set in first grand final set today, they looked great. So I think it's a good idea to stay here. Right back to small battlefield, which was working so well earlier. Now it's getting punished by the force side there, which is good. Down tilt going to land. Net him a few percent. Reset neutral. I think he wanted to throw that turn up down, possibly, but maybe he was just trying to get rid of it to use his uh, neutrals. So, right now, just nair trains into other aerials to rack up percent. Going for a really big F smash there. I'm not sure if that would have killed, but with a little bit of rage, possibly. I know it is a very powerful move. Um. But right now, Nugget's doing a lot better at just moving. You know, the movements are what's gonna really uh, secure these uh, opportunities to knock Aegis off stage and get these kills like you need to. Um, but DM always can answer with a very powerful move from Pyra to really make that space. Uh, Uppy is going to take that great nut drift back on that. I didn't think he was gonna have the room. I thought that might have been a uh, traded stock, but really smart stuff using the turn up there to extend his combo a little bit which is good and really earn a quick 50 percent there and now with rage i mean this is max if not very close to max rage so back air will trade and take that though but again this is something that happened in the first grand final set where you know dm would get these socks and then instantly you know get his conversion right back up to put nuggets at this rather you know mid to high percent where you know stray hits from pyra can start really taking these games so we'll have to watch out for that uh that is saved his jump there and uh, unfortunately the down air sends him towards the stage instead of away turn i'm not quite gonna get the hit on ledge there and we are right back to dm being off stage Making it back on, and Nuggets just looking to ledge trap. Calling up the neutral get up there with a grab. DM's doing a great job of avoiding that uh, winky face turn up. Trying to roll back onto the stage and get back air for his troubles. So, you know, Nuggets really doing a great job of, even if you can't get the kill off stage or, you know, getting them back to ledge, once they're on ledge, you know, using your ledge trap knowledge to really choke and throttle out your opponent leading up to that kill. So, Nuggets using a rare uh, attack get up to try to get out of that situation. 
DM not able to follow up on that blazing as and it's not quite killing yet. No, he's doing a good job there, realizing that the sword was going to come back soon, so you don't really have the opportunity you need to, uh, to punish as accordingly as you would like to. Just taking his way back to stage for free, getting right back in the center stage, right back in the DM space. This is the thing, it's like, you know, once you're in, you do have a little bit. Especially if he's on Pyro with the slower moves. Great jab one there to just say, you know, get off me real quick. So DM off stage. Oh, that turn up just barely going to miss. That probably would have been close if not B stock with the amount of space it would have sent him away. Fair on the opposite side. Not quite going to take it yet, but, you know, looking close. And jumping from ledge will get you bared. And I guess we'll take game two of the reset. So we're looking at something now a little bit different than we saw in Winter Semis and Grand Finals set one of Nugget's really trying to box a little bit more. Um, you know, saying, hey, some of my buttons are better than yours, especially if you're going to stick on Pyra for a little bit too long. So just being able to rack up the percent and then really using uh, DM in a corner, really exposing uh, DM in a corner a little bit more. But uh, Sonic Heroes, great. So... Back against the wall, down 2-0 in the reset. DM is going to look to Steve. Alright, let's learn some things about Steve together, everyone, because uh, I have no idea. <laughs> so I know Steve's general game plan is to set up these blocks to give him time to mine, and then get these better uh, weapons that do more damage, and then you just have really solid aerials that do... A good amount of damage. So, getting quick 0 to 73 off some stray interactions. Pretty good. So, Nuggets is going to have to work around these blocks and really probably switch up his game plan from what he was doing against Pyra Mithra. And this is the nice thing about DM having, you know, this duality of character, this tri trifecta of uh, characters. You know, you kind of have to play differently against all three of them. So, if you're able to adjust your playstyle, and uh, uh, that was footstool down air. Not sure if that's a real thing, but looks interesting. Nugget's gonna do a great job of sniping out these mine cards. I know mine cards are a very powerful kill move. I know it does a lot of damage. I believe. Uh, up smash, not quite gonna land. Let's break out the block and uh, move on. DM, I believe, is on iron tools right now for the most part. Uh, hopefully soon gonna. Oh no, looks like there's still some wood in there too, but. Soon gonna be looking to upgrade to you know diamond or uh, gold level tools that really secure these stocks out. Down throw, I believe. Almost took it. Possibly up throw. Uh, apologies, not knowing. Um. So yeah. Uh, high percent neutral here. You know, a lot of footsies, a lot of uh, who's gonna commit first to uh, either get the kill or get punished for the kill. So down air. I'm not sure if Nuggets was looking to punish the startup of that move, but uh. Gets hit through shield, or possibly without shield. DM now gonna buy his time off ledge. Give him some time just to think about his game plan. Coming back, but now gets again on ledge. Is gonna pressure hard. Not quite gonna secure a kill, and now gonna eat a little bit of percent from the block damage, but not quite gonna do much. Get off me back air, gonna cause it. Turn up just missing the two frame on the uh, up B from Steve. Uh, fourth throw, not quite gonna kill yet, unfortunately, but. You know, a couple more hits and we should be securing this next stock. He just has to make sure he doesn't take too much percent for it. The stitch base is not going to do anything, unfortunately, but we've seen a lot of those today, as we usually do from Nuggets. And it's, you know, Bluck is his skill, but also he does pluck a lot of turnips, so you're about to see more. Uh, Diamond Sword complete for DM now. I know that one will uh, definitely hurt. That did a lot of shield damage. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, great job. Calling out DM mining there unsafely with the side being on the stage. Fortunately, not going to get too much off of it and just, you know, ends up on the light on the other side. But, you know, making his way back. TNT block looking to trap ledge a little bit more. Not quite going to hit. Now he's pulling another stitch face. DM's going to respectfully back up and uh, mine his blocks to uh, reflect a little bit because he is looking a little light. Nuggets is going to die to his own stitch phase, and DM still holding on to it, so that's uh, that's pretty large. He's going to throw it the wrong way out of shield, unfortunately. 
I believe his shovel just broke. I'm not sure if that means he can't mine anymore, but I'm going to assume that is the case. Perhaps he just starts over with a wood one instead. Um, so, Nuggets had a decent- oh wow, had a lot of damage. That was 54% for a few moves. Gonna air dodge through that explosion, which is good, but still in a pretty tough situation right now, unfortunately. Um, we will see what he can do from here. I mean, securing this stock is the first step. Um, but you also just have to be very wary. I saw a couple more diamond, uh... Okay, so he still can mine without a shovel. But, um... Alright, what are we... Oh! Looking for the roll read up smash. Not quite gonna get it. Gonna get forward smash for the trouble. Enderman, or... Steve, going to take game three for DM in the reset. Now, this... I know DM can be stage dependent on his character choices, so I am curious to see, depending on what stage they do, what character DM is going to prioritize. Um, I mean, the Steve did work, but did it work because of the stark difference in playing, um, you know, but against Aegis to and uh, Steve? You know, is that kind of what? Helped him win that game, or is it actually a matchup, you know, battlefield thing? So Steve is going to say, Nugget's obviously going to stay with the Daisy. We're going to run it right back to FD. Okay. So we saw in the first set of semis uh, that DM elected to go Pikachu in this situation last time. After losing game one, he went to Pikachu to... Um, kind of, you know, secure himself here on FD. But now, he goes for the uh, Steve twice. So, now, like I said, the question is, was the adjustment what uh, hurt Nuggets more so than the actual matchup versus stage? Uh, we'll have to see with this game, because DM electing to stay Steve here is indicative that he thinks that it was not an adjustment issue. It was more Nuggets, you know, not being able to do what he needs to do in this matchup. Nuggets has said he feels like Steve is an execution test for him. You know, you have to be crisp and clean with your executions. You have to know exactly where your moves are going to hit and when because Steve does just create so much pressure. And you have to react to that mind card. So, we'll see where this brings them in this game four. Um, always, as always, pretty even. Pretty, uh... Nuggets, ooh, almost as being there, but barely making it back. If that fire would have hit, that would have been rather unfortunate. Uh, having to break through those blocks, stop the mine, not quite priority for him. Good job hitting him out of that mine cart with back air. So, you know. Destroying the crafting table, I don't know how long that takes to come back, and not very long at all, so. Um, DM shield looking a little low, going to be a little bit less likely to, um, you know, actually be able to shield the hen and we'll have to get shield poked. But by now, we'll be coming back real good. DM looking on a uh, gold and diamond block, but goes for an up smash on the empty hop, misses it, and gets back aired on the turnaround from Nuggets. So, Nuggets taking the first stock in this game. Um, really just looking to now create space, not quite, you know, interact as much, and you know, yes, DM is going to mine and possibly get more diamonds for his uh, better weapons, but if you can keep your distance, you shouldn't have to quite worry. Ooh, missing the punish on the minecart. Going to push him off stage. Not quite kill him yet, though. The TNT trap, not quite going to fool Nuggets. Uh, back throw from Steve, not quite going to steal out the first stock yet. But we'll be looking soon, getting some big damage off that um, conversion. Unfortunately, dash attack kind of stalling out due to hitting the crafting table, and DM will take... Stock one from Nuggets here. Alright, Loops gonna really tie up the percent here, but uh, Nuggets able to find his own little bread and butter there. Uh, a lot of diamond weapons on DM now, and he has even a diamond in the back, so he is gonna be doing a lot of damage. Uh, footstool down there, okay, so that what we saw in the first game was what he wanted to look for. Uh, fair spike, not quite gonna do much. Uh, Nuggets, ooh, coming out aggressively with the fair. Gonna take the 
Dimension Connect stop. DM using his legend vulnerability or his angel platform vulnerability wisely to craft another diamond weapon real quick. Uh, good, good moves from him. Minecart not gonna connect there. Um, now, you know, having the same percent on each stock is not um, unfortunate. All right. So DM's taking his time mining, but is. You know, getting to that percent where things can be scary. Again, calling the up smash again, looking for the punish, not quite finding it. Gonna eat a lot of percent and be off the stage for that one. Uh, neutral get up will get grabbed up by Nuggets. Throw him right back on and we'll rinse and repeat. Oh, so neutral get up again. No punish from Nuggets this time. Will get attacked for his worries. Pushing him off stage with the side B. I thought he was about to get trapped in that minecart. I wasn't quite sure how the hitbox worked. Nuggets did a really smart thing there. He knew that he didn't have time to punish the um, grab, but uh, went in like he did and then pushed back and tried to punish DM's panic option on the uh, end lag, but fortunately not going to find it. Going for up throw here. I think just wants him above him. And back air is going to take it. So Nuggets will take grand finals. Reset. 3-1. Winning your GU weekly. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, my name's Siren. Hope to be around a little bit more nowadays, and uh, hope you all have a great evening.